Fourth subdivision is what is the utilization factor? Utilization factor is otherwise called as traffic inter intensity, which means we are going to find the probability for a system to be busy. So that is the probability of finding a system to be utilized. So this is given by the formula rho is equal to lambda by mu. So substituting lambda and mu value, we get 0 0.66. So this completes the solution of the first problem. So let me quickly recap. So what we have done from the first problem, the problem talks about a single service system. The data says one reservation clerk, which means the entire data talks about a single service system. So we are there in the model M bar M bar 1, a single service system, whose the strength of the system is, is not defined. So whenever the capacity of the system is not defined, it is found to be it is considered to be the infinite population. So we have infinite infinity bar FCFS. It's a first come first serve basis. So we are going to solve the problem belonging to this model. So here we also understand the entire data is going to be considered on the basis of first come first serve. So with this knowledge now let us start identifying the average arrival rate and average service rate which is very much necessary to find out the different measures available in that is in the given first model now how to find out the average arrival rate average arrival rate is nothing but number of customers arrive at a unit which will be expressed per unit of time so they say customers arrive at a rate of 8 per hour so number of customers 8 per unit of time r therefore we have 8 per hour this is going to be the lambda value likewise the clerk can serve which talks about the service time so number of customers getting served is 12 for unit of time per hour so you express mu is equal to 12 per hour once my lambda and mu values are taken down we check both the values are expressed in the same unit of time so lambda value is known to us mu value is known to us now let us find the following measure the first measure they say average number of customers whenever number of customers is set it is about length so length can be asked either for customers in the queue or customer in the system so here they say number of customers waiting for service of the clerk. Service of the clerk. Clerk where he will be even the service counter. So number of customers including the counter. Service counter. That means length of the system. Number of customers waiting including or uh, including the person in the service counter. So we call length of the system. Second one. Number of average time of a customer waiting before getting service again before getting service means it includes a person involved in the service curve counter two so average time number of customers means length average time means waiting time number of customers means l rotation is l waiting time means rotation is w so here the waiting time for a customer including the person in the service counter. So, I call, we call it as WS. So, second subdivision, we have to find WS. Third subdivision, average time for a customer in the queue. Very clear. Average time means W. Q means Q. So, WQ. Fourth subdivision, utilization factor. Utilization factor means probability for the system to be busy. That is rho. So, this is how we have to find out lambda mu value. And the respective formula we substitute, we hence we get the answer.